So trichoderma, mushroom farmers hate it, but it's actually a wonderful fungus for the ecosystem. And who better to explain why than Mr. Larry Evans? Please enlighten us. Where would we be without trichoderma? Did you know yeah. that what we call the trichoderma is just the imperfect half of a perfect organism? And that the other half, if you will, the other half of the trichoderma identity lives inside of a termite nest and is sexually inhibited and fed upon by termites. Everybody, everybody eats trichoderma. You've probably eaten your weight in trichoderma during your lifetime. Maybe a couple times, you know, trichoderma, it's everywhere. And yeah, it's the bane. It's the bane of cultivators, but it's actually a very misunderstood and sexually frustrated fungus because I don't know, we, at some point we have to get in his fungal sex and it's really a mess because fungal sex is a lot more complicated than uh, the normal mammal binary type uh, sexuality because they have reproductive spores that are basically clones of themselves. And we recognize this as a whole generation and all kinds of fungi go through this, but it's not a mushroom, right? And that's really uh, a frustrating kind of thing to sort of explain to people that uh, mushroom sexuality is not the simple binary type of thing that we expect from mammals. It's more like, um, you know, it's, it's a mix of different uh, gametes operating in a much more open system, I guess you would say. So trichoderma, using all these analogies that I just set out for myself, trichoderma, the male or the positive member of this pair is everywhere and it, and it is constantly reproducing itself and showing up in your culture dishes and making its vegetative self all over the place. The counterpart lives inside of a termite nest in Africa and never sees the light of day until the termite nest dies. At what point it finally gets connected with the outside air. And at that point, voila, it's got its happy little trachyderma mating pair waiting for it.